transitions allow you, like animation, to control how your slides appear. Now this is the entire slides and how they go from one slide to the next slide. In a business environment, you want to try and keep this as simple as possible. Like animations, it's kind of a group animation of everything on a slide. Transitions have their own tab. Here at the top, I have a transitions tab. And just like on my animation pane, I can see a selection window with various types of transitions that I can use. If I hover over any of these, I get more information on what they can do and what I want between. Now, in most cases, people use fade or they might use a push or a wipe in the business world. Depending on what you're working on, you could use some of the more exciting transitions, or you could use some dynamic content transitions. These are just a little more animated, but can again take away from some of the content that you're trying to share. To add a transition, all I do is select it from the list and it's going to fade in. Just like in animations, I have effect options. Because I'm going a fade, it's going to fade smoothly from one slide to the next, or I can have it fade through black. Again, the choice is yours. Once I've found a transition that I like, and I can try out different transitions and see what they're going to look like, you can then decide to do this to all of your slides. Consistency will help make this not as recognizable. This isn't as much about adding emphasis as it is about just going from one to the other. Now, if you want to have a little fun, you know, I did a meeting one time where it was based on a the late show theme, and we used curtains and one slide to the next. And because we were starting from black, this initial transition is a black. Let's take a look at what it would look like if I went to slide two. You see monthly meeting disappears into the curtain and our agenda appears behind it. And so you can really add some emphasis. If I want to apply this to all my slides, I just click apply to all here on the right hand side in the timing group and every slide will now have that curtain transition. But again, in most cases, that's probably not what you're going to end up with. I may choose now to do slide three as a fade, and I can apply that to all, and then go back and make just slide two curtains. This way I'm having the impact that I want, but as I play through the presentation, my curtains will open, I'll have my agenda, I have my animations, and now it's just going to fade into the next category. A little more calm. And so transitions give you a lot of opportunity to change from slide to slide. If I had none, just to show you the difference, and I went from this slide to the next with no transition, it just kind of pops in there. That's okay too. But the fade or some of the more subtle ones make the transition a little smoother for your audience. So use transitions in your presentations to keep it interesting.